All right. Um, one thing I'm going to do here is just uh, accelerate this footage uh, to about times four speed because uh, I I spent way too long trying to uh, to hack this terminal. I I don't know. It, it just went on for ages and ages and ages, and I couldn't find the actual password. Um, and I was stubbornly refusing to actually try it again. Um, but uh, yeah, this is one of the advantages, I guess, of uh, doing this in post-commentary, is that I can actually um, edit the footage ahead of time and then commentate over it after the fact, which I would not be able to do, obviously, if I was doing live commentary uh, as events were happening. I would end up having to uh, accelerate my voice track as well just to keep it in sync, and I'd don't know how well that would work out. Uh, maybe I should try it sometime just to see. Particularly if I'm not saying anything interesting during the during the time that I want to actually accelerate. It might work out pretty well, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm beginning to wonder um, whether or not uh, I should do more editing uh, in in terms of like uh, cutting stuff out and uh, you know accelerating stuff which isn't particularly interesting or whether I should just uh, stick with the same kind of style of um, of including you know every uh, everything that isn't just me doing maintenance so or, or running from place to place so yeah uh, I mean obviously you know you're probably aware of what kind of style I've been using up until this point where as I, I am aware that a lot of other people uh, do a more sort of um, cut down style where they'll cut stuff out um, that uh, is you know just sort of like moving around and picking things up and they'll just sort of like put in the essential stuff like the the conversations the dialogues the combat and um, and, and generally keep it really slim but uh yeah, I don't know. That seems like a lot of editing work, and I'm not sure if I want to actually go through all of that. Um, but yeah, obviously here I'm uh, trying to offload uh, a lot of the junk that I picked up, and uh, as you can see, my inventory is quite chock. It's 183 out of 200. That was um, that filled up more quickly than I even anticipated. I mean, I knew this place was going to be full of junk and uh, require a huge amount of um, a huge amount of carry capacity to do all of it and obviously I would have to make some tough choices at some point or another but yeah I was kind of surprised that uh, we managed to uh, to fill up my inventory only about halfway through um, but you know <laughs> that's what Piper's here for I guess uh, yeah so it's been a while since um, a character has had a good night rest I think it's time to uh, to sleep eight hours, get rid of uh, that fatigue, and also, uh, I guess, to make a save point uh, is probably a good idea. Um, oh, okay, feel ill, lethargy. Uh, that's not good. What is that? What does it do? Uh, AP refresh minus fifty percent. You know, I, I don't, I don't think that's terribly uh, pressing, and. Um, seen better days, hasn't it? I'm sure I have the antibiotics to actually uh, remove that, but I don't know. Action point refresh minus 50% is not that big of a deal. Uh, Movement detected. I mean, unless Curious. unless I have to use multiple. Is someone present? Unless I have to use multiple action uh, like refills in my action bar in a single Why are combat. You I, hmm. Overactive sensors. <laughs> nothing more. Yes, nothing more. They're just overactive sensors. Uh, yeah, so unless I have to... Um, unless I have a combat that lasts long enough for me to actually wait for my action points to refresh. Not that big of a deal. I, I might fix it later. I, I can't even remember, actually, if I did. Uh, because I am actually recording this uh, the day after I recorded the last one. Because... Uh, I... I ran out of time. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, this is an entirely new day for me, even though um, it is a... Uh, I, I obviously played this all through in, in one sitting. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm a little bit less aware of uh, what exactly um, 
I'm about to do and what I did do in in this particular uh, series of events. So, you know, I might even catch myself by surprise. Uh, You never know. Uh, Yeah, so, all right, something else I wanted to talk about is... um, is uh, the number of likes I'm getting from Piper. Uh, she seems to be uh, giving me a like for every single uh, every single time I pick a lock, and I know for a fact that uh, that that there should be a cooldown of some sort on that uh, on that reaction from her, so that you can't just keep picking locks back to back to back and um, expect. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't see me at all there, actually. Uh, it's just a testament to uh, to how good my stealth ability is at the moment, I guess, uh, to be able to get away with that entirely. <laughs> um, but yeah, it seems like uh, every time I pick a luck, uh, recently I've been getting a like from Piper, so I'm not sure whether or not... Hello, uh, Whether or not the... There, there is an issue with the cooldown not working properly, or whether it's just so happens that uh, I'm, I'm I'm just getting it right at the right times, like uh, precisely getting uh, the points where the cooldown is is just finished, and uh, managed to get the maximum efficiency out of um, farming Piper's uh, affinity level with lockpicking. I don't know what's going on there. But uh, yeah, I, I managed to get her affinity uh, pretty well advanced throughout uh, this. Uh, uh, th- th- yeah, through throughout this compound. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I th- think she actually uh, has. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she she wanted to talk to me earlier, and I haven't actually <laughs> stopped and um, and had that conversation with her. I will do that in a moment. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I haven't gotten around to it, uh, just yet. Uh, the other thing is that now that it's a day later and, uh, I've, um, you know, had some time to rest and, uh, to, uh, take care of myself, my cold is a lot better right now. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully I won't have too many delays in, you know, continuing to put up videos and, uh, this, uh, this commentary is uh, going to be a lot easier on my throat and uh, and my general health. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely happy about that because uh, I was not looking forward to, uh, to doing too many of these recordings whilst I was sick. So let's see if I can get another like from Piper when I do this. It's it was was yeah it was not long ago when I got a like from her uh, last time so. This will be a good indicator. Sweet. Uh, is it? Is it supposed to be now or? Oh no! Wow. Okay, so I got a like from her there as well. No, that that is definitely an issue with the cooldown. I did they decrease it or, um, or is that a bug that it somehow got disabled? Because uh, I I do not believe that. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't think that that's um, that that's normal the way that that's actually working. There should be a much greater cooldown between uh, uh, between uh, like affinity upgrades. But uh, yeah, okay. So I this is hey. where I actually stop and talk to her. Hey, Piper. You really do have a talent for finding trouble, don't you? Yep, yep, I do. Um, but yeah, let me put on my charisma gear because I, I believe that there is a, a charisma check during this conversation. I'm trying to remember. But uh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, one of the top? Is that a problem? Not at all. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed... Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. <laughs> yes, a uh, typical reporter, I guess. But um, I-, I guess we'll ask her about some of that stuff. I don't, I don't know. Seems that execution didn't quite take, huh? <laughs> Thank God. I'd been working on this story about irradiated drinking water in Bunker Hill. I traced the water back to its source through these old sewer tunnels, and what do I find? The children of Adam, 
setting up like they own the place. Unfortunately, they found me just as quick. Turns out they were not fond of reporters. So, to atone for my trespassing, they decided to make a sacrifice to Adam. Me. I'm kneeling there, about to get the boot into this huge sewer pipe, when suddenly I blurt out, Adam, he reveals himself. And they buy it. They pull me back from the ledge and then gave me their induction ceremony. You are looking at an official acolyte of Adam. <laughs> it took me a couple more days before I managed to sneak away, get Bunker Hill security to finally clean the place up. Uh -huh. Okay, well that's something we have in common, I guess. Uh, I am also an official acolyte of Adam, so there you go. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? What have we got? You've led an exciting life sure have but honestly now that i'm out here with you i feel like i'm just getting started getting in trouble is what folks like us do i mean you and i are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the commonwealth can have a chance at a better life not for praise or reward or glory but because it's right i i just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. Uh huh. Oh, right. Okay. So here um, is the speech challenge, and that's actually more difficult than I anticipated. So I'm going to try and do something here, uh, which I'll just fast forward through really quickly, where I'm trying to get out of the conversation so I can get back to my inventory uh, to like take a great mentat or something. But eventually, I just give up. I wouldn't want it any other way. Yeah. <laughs> I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks, Blue. That's that's. Awfully sweet and unexpected of you. So you want to get out of here? Yes, let's get out of here. But uh, yeah, those uh, those speech checks. I I thought that um, they start out as uh, basic ones, uh, like just the yellow. But maybe I'm misremembering uh, because that one was certainly more difficult uh, than I recall. Or maybe it's the next one, like after you've done it once. Um, the next ones get easier or something like that but yeah something i found really strange about this is uh uh is uh i i guess that um uh, and i've always found this weird is that uh th this has only been like a couple of months since uh, i woke up out of um the cryo pod and <laughs> and despite my last memories before well, that moment uh, figure out a good use being it. my wife getting murdered uh, here is my character uh, like a couple of months later just sort of like chatting up women in out in the wasteland just sort of flirting with random companions <laughs> and it, it just seems really odd to me that uh, that that's um, it's just like totally normal totally acceptable and uh yeah, <laughs> but you know, I I feel like uh, it's it's worth it just for the experience alone, like the experience points you get from the speech challenge, and I think um, it's it's also a lot more convenient for uh, like to have like fully romanced companions as well, because uh, I think you get like an experience boost over. Um, uh, just normal traveling with companions it's like a 15% bonus to experience when you're well rested or something which is pretty is pretty significant uh, it it's almost makes me uh, want to uh, go romance every romanceable companion like even Preston and uh, just sort of oh hey a bobblehead cool um, that's useful maybe possibly uh, maybe <laughs> um but yeah just to have like a, a selection of of companions you can get like that 15 percent experience point bonus with uh but yeah uh, i don't know whether it's it's quite worth romancing preston <laughs> uh i don't know i don't know let me guys know what's uh uh, what you guys do when it comes to companions. Do you have a favorite companion you like to romance? Or do you just romance them all? Or if you uh, just sort of like have a uh, selection nice. of companions that you like to romance and other ones you just steer well clear of? Uh, I... I oh. Okay. Wow. Well, don't know where that guy came from. Oh, and another one. Alright. This... 
actually, I, I should have known about that. Um, I'm pretty sure that that's like a scripted ambush. Uh, it seems like they show up every single time you go into that back room or this kitchen. Uh, they they seem to like show up behind you and sort of cut off your escape route. And I don't know what the trigger for that is. It's possible that um, there's like a point at which you walk over and it just sort of triggers their spawn. Or maybe it's like picking up the bobblehead or something like that. But uh, yeah, I... I I, I do know that that happens every time, and uh, it catches me by surprise occasionally, which it really, really shouldn't at this point in time. Uh, but yeah, uh, that bobblehead is, um, I think it was something to do with energy weapons, right? So yeah, I'm not sure if there are uh, any, any particular energy weapons that I would... Um, that I would use over my current weapon selection. My current weapon selection is pretty good, I feel. And uh, I know I was looking at um, at Righteous Justice and uh, considering, you know, is it worth it? Is it worthwhile? I don't use VATs that much and certainly don't use critical hits uh, very often, which I should probably be doing more of, uh, let's be honest. Oh, right, the password. Okay, yes. Uh, that password is going to be super useful in just a moment. So, yeah, uh, don't forget that if you're doing that to go around there and uh, pick up that password. You got guts and determination. It's admirable. But you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Well, that's... Hey, that's, something's out there. That's certainly a statement. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know what to make with this Kellogg guy. It, it seems like he's getting a little bit scared. He's, uh, he's trying to deter me just a little bit too much. Why else would he be so determined to send me back the way I came? Is he frightened? Is he really, really that frightened? Otherwise, he'd just sort of say, come on, bring it, and then, you know, easily kill me. I think that must be it. That must be it, yep. Uh, I'm I'm convinced, <laughs> um, but yeah, that password is um, is going to be very useful in just a moment uh, because uh, it will, oh, of course, actually now that I think about it, it's just going to end up uh, leading to me filling up my inventory. It's not too late. Stop. Turn around and leave. You have that option. Not a lot of people can say that. No, that's that's true, um, but yeah, it's it's just going to lead to me filling up my inventory in uh, just a moment. So maybe it's not such a good idea to pick up the first one. <laughs> Your choice, uh, but yeah, um, I, I'm kind of curious now. Has anyone ever actually just stopped, turned around, and then left? And does that actually continue the main plot line? I. I I can't imagine it does uh, if you just sort of like turn around and leave right now and don't go after Kellogg. I, I imagine it becomes impossible to finish the game up to that point. Uh, so, yeah, I guess <laughs> we have no choice but to continue. But yeah, so here is the password. Um, well, what the password is for. It allows me to open this door, which is the armory, which is like full of ammo and weapons and heaps of awesome stuff that uh, you usually don't want to just sort of pass by without uh, picking up or at least going through just to sort of see if there's anything in here worthwhile. Yes. Yeah, I'm not sure if... Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, that... Keep you out. That there certainly is something worthwhile in here. Actually, I'm, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. <laughs> it depends on your... um. Uh, it, it depends on your your weapon preferences, I guess, uh, and uh, how dangerous you like to live. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> I uh, I feel like it could be useful in in this scenario. The the fat man right there uh, is. Um, as I've mentioned many times previously, uh, this Kellogg guy is one of the toughest fights. Um, in, uh, or at least I believe, or at least I've found it to be the one of the toughest fights in the main plotline. So, 
I, I guess the fat man is kind of like my insurance policy. Uh, if if I can't kill this guy any other way, if it gets down to the point where I'm just dying every single time, then I, I have the fat man to fall back on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, clearly I can't carry all of this, so I'm going to have to drop some things. Uh, which means, because Piper is full, she can't carry any more. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to drop something heavy-ish. Uh, hang on, am I sorting by weight? No? Yes, I am now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't need the typewriters, I don't think. It's just a couple of screws. It's not uh, essential. And yeah, because those are quite heavy, so that actually... Oh, yeah, I've got grilled rad stack as well. Um, it actually puts me in a pretty good spot uh, to finish this out. I think I don't think there's all that much left, uh, if I remember. Uh, yeah, I, I think we're definitely approaching the end here. And... Um, and now I'm trying to think, yeah, okay, uh, because there are a bunch of beds, uh, between here and, uh, the, v ooh, there we go, ooh, that's pretty cool, um, there are a bunch of beds between here and, uh, the, the very end, uh, encounter, so there are no shortages of places to save the game before you, uh, before you run into this Kellogg guy, so... You know, I, I, I have that going for me. <laughs> I, I can save before uh, facing him, and uh, that means that I can re-attempt re this as many times as I need to, uh, in order to uh, in order to successfully uh, complete this uh, complete this mission. But yeah, um, I, I really don't think that uh, the whole turning around and walking away is is an option because. How else would you finish the game? Are you expected to just like run around doing random quests for people uh, without finishing the game? I I don't think that works. No, no, you you absolutely need to talk to this guy at some point nice. to get the information. Would it be an interesting uh, game design? This oh no, I just I just activated those turrets, didn't I? Yep. Okay, let's let's just turn those off again. <laughs> um, but yeah, it would be an interesting game design decision if they uh, actually coded that in the the option to turn around and walk away. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't see it happening somehow. Ah, uh, but yeah, this is yeah, th this this is really close now. Yep, yep, it's um, it's uh. It's getting to the crunch time, I guess, and uh, there are beds in here, so you know we can can save it. Uh, trying to think if there was anything actually useful in here. Army fatigues, not bad. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth carrying them around, though. I am sort of close to my limits right now, but uh, I guess I can always drop more typewriters. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, no, I think there's another bed uh, actually just in the next room, which is the room before we encounter the big bad. So uh, I don't need to save in those previous beds. Um, we can save it in that one, I think. Uh, is there anything interest here. Oh, purified water, okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay. You made it. I'm just up ahead. My sins are standing down. Let's talk. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's talk. Because, <laughs> uh, uh, th that always goes as planned. Um, so yeah, uh, I I think it's obviously a good idea to save it before we do this, and um, and I, I'm just hoping he doesn't mind waiting around for one hour for me to just take a quick nap to do that. But uh, I don't think he will complain. 
uh, he's not really in a position to. So, yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it. I think we're ready to go. I, I think we've picked up everything, looted everything that's possible. Uh, time to save it and uh, face the music. Uh, and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> oh, man, this is... Oh, wow, am I really that short on water? Okay, okay. Oh, oh, this is... This is going to be bad. <laughs> this is going to be bad. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right. Psych yourself up. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Um, have I got all my equipment sorted out? I've got weapons selected. Let's, let's just favorite the hot man, uh, fat man, uh, just in case. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I, I, I think uh, all my uh, apparel is in order. I got everything on. I've got uh, drugs and stuff that I can take uh, in a moment if I need to. Uh, yeah, I think that's enough. I, I, I think uh, we should be fairly well prepared for this and I, I just hope he doesn't one shot me or anything because this is survival obviously um, and nobody likes getting one shot okay we'll, we'll take the um, the antibiotics just to get rid of the uh, lethargy most resilient man in the Commonwealth funny I thought I had that honor let's uh, talk <laughs> yeah let's Let's talk. Where is my son? Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. Huh. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Very hostile options. Um, uh, God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker! Oh wow, that was where well, is my son? That was a What's very cliche? hostile option too. So close, but yet so far away. That's Sean. But don't worry, you'll die knowing he's safe and happy. Oh, oh, a bit older than you expected, but ah oh, well. At least he's in a loving home. Bold words. The institute. What happened to talking, huh? Just talking. Oh, jeez. Okay. So where is it, huh? This institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the institute. The institute finds you. You open the closet. It's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. <laughs> but I think we've been talking long enough. Yeah, I guess. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? Um, uh, wait, uh, uh, oh, I'm no, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Um, <laughs> let me just take all the drugs and, uh, cross my fingers and, oh, <laughs> Okay, okay, let's let's just go for it. Oh wow. <laughs> and alright, critical hit. And hope I don't die. And come on, come on, come on. Alright, what's what's my health bar like? Oh wow, okay, that's I, I didn't really take it much damage. That was pretty well done. I'm really surprised and ecstatic <laughs> that I managed to do that on the first try. Oh, all right. Let's not get killed by these sits after going through all that. Indeed, we did, Piper. We totally showed them. Go team us. That worked surprisingly well. I did not even need the fat man. But uh, look at this. Mildly dehydrated. All those drugs just totally tried me out, and I only have one purified water. 
Oh, and uh, is there any noodle cups? No, there isn't. Oh, man. I'm... I'm in a bit of trouble. There's dirty water there, but I, uh, I'm not really sure if I uh, want to go that far. I, I think there are some uh, cans of purified water around here somewhere. Uh, yep, yeah, there's one. Okay. Okay, let's let's try not to die of dehydration after all of that. Because uh, that would be bad. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, come on. Let me carry something before you cripple yourself. Well, you know, I, I totally would make you carry something, Piper. But uh, your inventory is full, just like mine. So it's not going to work. I'm going to have to drop more typewriters. And probably those two. Um... Desk fan, yeah, maybe, but yeah, I think those are probably the first on the list. Okay, what has this guy got on him? Password, uh, cybernetic things, yeah, stealth boy, the outfit, I guess, uh, Kelx pistol, okay. And cybernetic stuff. Yeah, alright, fine. Take all of it. Take all the stuff. Ex all this tech. Except the grenades. You were barely human. Yeah, I don't know. He looks pretty human to me. I I mean, aside from the fact he no longer has a head, uh I I, I don't think a few cybernetic implants qualify as somebody as being barely human. I just me, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> I don't have uh, the uh, the kind of perspective that uh, that this guy has being all um, from an era of uh, 1950s nuclear powered cars and and, uh, and butler robots and who knows who knows oh, okay, yeah. take that as well yeah, alright I don't know what these have in them that is triggering my uh, my flag thing. Uh, oh, more water. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if it's enough water to actually get us back <laughs> to a settlement uh, without completely dehydrating. Uh, I guess I can always stop at a stream or something and take a drink. Uh, what else is there? Just this? I think, I think that's pretty much everything. I think we've picked up all there is to pick up, uh, that we can actually pick up uh, without over-encumbering ourselves. Uh, oh, wait, that was this guy. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much everything, I think. So, uh, let's, let's just take that last of water so that's a bit better not too bad we should be okay to make it to a settlement uh, we also need to check this terminal we have his password so we'll do that uh, yeah access log uh, Sean successfully delivered back to the Institute payment received uh, blah 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 Gathered reinforcements. Uh, okay, we head f head out soon. Um, is that it? Mm -hmm. Open doors, I guess. Okay, that did progress my quest log, I suppose. Um, so that's kind of helpful. Uh, I think. Think doesn't really give us much information to go on though, so um, I don't know. I, I I guess we just sort of like follow the quest marker and uh, hope it leads us on to the next goal. Uh, where? Yeah, okay. There is an exit sign over there. I think that's the way we get out. Oh boy. Uh yeah. And I I don't think there's anything else we've missed. So yeah, time to leave and um and uh, try to make it back to uh, Diamond City, perhaps? I think that's probably the closest place 
uh, that we can get to uh, that will have water and supplies and will allow us to sell all the stuff that we picked up and, and drop off everything um, everything else at Hangman's Alley or somewhere, I don't know I don't know, come on Piper let's go, stop hanging around out there alright um, and uh, this should lead us back to the roof perhaps yeah yeah I think so okay um, and now there is I think a little bit of a um, an, an, an event I guess that's about to happen so I, I won't sign off just yet because um, I do know what's what's about to happen and all of that so we'll just include this last bit of footage uh, before we finish up this episode and um, and uh and and then we will go from there but um yeah if, uh, <laughs> yep yep there it is there it is uh i didn't bring a missile launcher oh people of the commonwealth yes that's me do not interfere our intentions are peaceful okay Oh, okay. So we're not being invaded by aliens, guys. It's just the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, I, I guess I do have my Fat Man launcher, but uh, no, <laughs> we, we won't. We won't start a war. Um, but yeah, I, I guess um, this is going to make things interesting. Yeah, I, I hardly believe it myself, Piper. Um, we will need to uh, follow up with that and uh, go talk to our Brotherhood of Steel friends to find out what's going on uh, in the next episode or possibly some episode after that, when I get around to it. Uh, but yeah, thanks everybody for watching. And uh, if you like the content, please do subscribe. And uh, if you have anything to say, please uh, give the video a thumbs up and... and you know, comments and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I will catch you guys next time.